Right now at 6, ensuring safety in the classroom. North Carolina pouring more money into hiring school resource officers, particularly in low-income school districts. Yeah, in fact, the state's new budget has nearly doubled its amount allocated to get these new SROs. In WCNC Charlotte's Shamaria Morrison tells us what district leaders here have to say about the funding efforts. We have at least nine school districts in our area that are considered low wealth. This means that they can apply for state funding to help match what they're currently paying for SROs. It also means they get twice as much money in grant match funding than counties that are not considered low wealth like Mecklenburg County. The budget for the state's school resource officer specific program goes from 18 to $33 million. And all that will be handled through the uh, Department of Public Instruction Center for Safer Schools, which we started building some years ago. Representative John Torbett chairs the North Carolina House Education Committee. Not to say that our schools weren't safe, but just to be there to aid and assist from the state level on needs they may not be able to address themselves, such as some of the uh, more rural counties couldn't afford SROs. School districts currently use local, federal, and state dollars to fund their SROs. Starting this year, the low income districts can apply for a grant that gives it $4 for every $1 in non state funds for an SRO. So let's say SROs cost the district $500,000 a year. If it earmarked $100,000 in local or federal funds, the state would pick up the rest of the tab. We're hoping with this funding, we'll come real close to having an SRO in every school in North Carolina. A spokesperson from Burke County Public Schools, which qualifies, says it's meeting with county commissioners, the sheriff's office, and public safety to talk about the opportunity. This is only for low wealth counties. This does not include Charlotte and Mecklenburg, so we are not classified in that uh, area and will not benefit by this provision. But CMS, whose wealth ranking is double the low ranking standard, can still benefit, only not quite as much. Districts that are not considered low wealth can still apply for that grant funding, but they'll only get $2 match for every $1 they spend that is not state funds. Shamaria Morrison, WCNC Charlotte.